Hi again, Dr. Kitchens here at Manchester Medical Center. And we have Larry. Larry, paramedic. Sydney, Sydney, normal medical assistant. And today we're going to talk about the usefulness of gloves in public during this current pandemic. So, while yesterday we spoke about the proper way to wear masks and take them off, the discussion today is whether or not gloves are really useful. Hmm. So, there are all, again, like, like masks with gloves, there is a right way and there's a wrong way. So typically gloves are meant to be single use. So if you're going to be around a patient where there's a lot of contamination or bodily fluid, you're gonna use it for one time and then dispose of the gloves. But if we're wearing them during the pandemic, unless you take them off every time you use them, again, we're causing contamination and increased likelihood that you're gonna infect yourself. So for instance, you know, our skin is one of the largest organ systems of our body and the purpose of our skin is a barrier, right? That's the purpose. It's a barrier so that we don't get infections. If you have a cut in your skin, that's how infections get in and give you skin infections. But if your skin is intact and healthy, simply washing your hands after you've touched something is, is the key. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna wear gloves, it basically you're putting on a second layer of skin. So it's not necessarily helpful. So when you wear gloves, if you decide that you still want to do it, let's just do it the right way to make sure that you're safe. So we have a demonstration. So here are some latex free gloves, different sizes, different colors. And we're gonna use a little representation of, you know, I'll do it on my regular hand here, some glitter here. So we're gonna use the glitter as representation of this is what viruses are like. So say you're just on a regular counter surface and you're touching things. This is what the representation is of viruses. So you can imagine each little speckle of glitter represents virus. So I have it on my hands and I have it on my gloves. So if I'm going around and touching things, and if I grab my coffee, then you'll see I've left virus load on my coffee. And then if I go and I use my cell phone, or if I pick up my other glove, now I have glitter on my other glove. Or if I am then touching my mouse, I leave glitter on my mouse. So whether it's just bare skin or whether it is a glove, it doesn't help any more one or the other. The key will then be to wash your hand properly or to remove the glove. But if you're in the grocery store and you're wearing gloves and shopping around and picking up items and then putting it in your cart and then you grab your cart and off you go and then you're on your phone, you put it in your pocket. <laughs> It's a spreader. It's a spreader. So again, unless you do, if you're in the grocery store and then you're gonna wear gloves, make sure you take them off properly. Dispose of them before you touch anything else in your car or your cell phone, and then wash your hands. So the proper way to actually remove gloves if you have them on, again, to not cause more contamination is, Sydney, would you like to demonstrate? Sure. You want to grab on the outside because if you go underneath, you're going to then contaminate yourself. See, now I just spread virus on myself. So we grab the outside and then you pull forward and you grab that in your hand and crumple it up. And then you go underneath the other side and pull that forward. And then you immediately dispose of it in the garbage, not on the street, not on the sidewalk, not out your window, but in a garbage. And then also wash your hands. So again, it's not necessary to wear gloves out in public unless you're going to either wash your gloves or immediately throw them away because this is just another vector. This is another fomite that's going to spread the virus. Any questions? Taking them off wrong. Take that wrong. Thank you, Larry. All right, be safe, Manchester. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>